Uh, I really like working with the students here. I think we've got a very gifted student body um, and a very enthusiastic student body. They're willing to meet high expectations and work hard, um, so that makes it a very rewarding group of students to teach. I can ask them to solve something very difficult and they'll give it their very best shot. And, so, and they are um, actively involved in their community as well, not just their academics. And so it's fun to see the students work very hard in the classroom and then also see them work very hard on their um, sorority or fraternity involvement or their community service and their athletics and to see them kind of becoming very interesting adults. I also bring students on to work with me on my research, so I've got five students working with me right now doing an independent study on star formation and learning how to reduce uh, radio astronomy data. Um, and then we have students um, that have presented at the student research conference with the results from their independent studies. And so um, it can range everywhere from kind of book teaching yourself a subject to doing independent research. There's a really wide range of independent study opportunities in our department. Coming from the University of Wisconsin, as a, where I did my graduate work, you know, we had a few undergraduates working in the department, but it was like the one or two that were really aggressive about asking to be on a project that really, you know. Here, I think any student that wants to be involved in research can get involved in a research program. Um, just because we're small and we're undergraduate only, they're not going to be competing with graduate students or postdocs for research opportunities or attention. And then the Student Research Conference, I've been involved with helping plan it and carry it out since I got here. So three, this will be my third Student Research Conference. Um, it's a lot of fun to see students, not just from the sciences, but from, we've got people from history, we've got people from anthropology, a lot of psychology students presenting their research. And it's a great venue for students to learn how to present research because it's, it's just the College of Idaho community. It's only undergraduate research. So it's a pretty safe space, but it's a good way to kind of see what the expectations are and what a research conference looks like. We love mountains and we like playing in the mountains. So we like to backpack, we like to rock climb, we like to ski. Um, and so on the weekends, uh, when I'm not grading, we sneak off and do uh, what we can. We're so close to Bogus Basin, so we uh, often ski there. So yeah, I, we like the outdoor opportunities, um, the fishing, the rafting in the summer. So there's a lot of fun to be had in Idaho, and that was one of the big draws for why we wanted to move to this part of the country. I would tell a student that was interested in studying physics um, to come to the College of Idaho because the classes are very small. Um, they have an opportunity to get to know their professors. I know all of our physics majors pretty well. I know um, not just that they're physics, math physics majors, um, but that they are, you know, what, um, what they do outside of their classes, what they're minoring in. Um, and so I get to know the students and I can also talk to them about their future career goals. Um, get to know them well enough to write them good letters of recommendation, um, bring them in to work with me on my research through independent studies and summer research opportunities. And so just that small community, getting to know the professors and to work closely in the classroom um, makes a big difference that you wouldn't get at a bigger school.